what sparked my interest in computers was was computer games and playing those from a young age and getting really excited about seeing them for the first time and wondering, you know, how is this made? Could I make this? Um, everything to do with that I found really interesting and wanted to know more about that. So what sparked my interest in computing really was just, I mean, my parents were um, both in computing fields. So my, my mum taught um, uh, competing to college students and um, my dad had his own um, business designing websites so it's always something that was kind of in in the home um, and yeah I, I found that I, one of the things for me was that my my mum was saying that computing is such a useful skill you know um, and that it doesn't really matter what industry you go into it will always be really useful um, you know there's so many industries that use computing as a part of the industry so um, you know it's just something really useful to have on your CV anyway. When I was about seven or eight I got my first console and I was just enamoured of like these amazing worlds you could go and visit in computing um, and then I got into PCs as well so I did a lot of gaming on PC but also a lot of creative interactions as well so I was doing artwork on PCs actually even younger than seven or eight I think the first time I created art on a PC was when I was about five and my my dad let me um, on his first computer and I was in MS-DOS if you remember that <laughs> creating um, like pictures just with um, pixels because there wasn't anything else to do with it at that point. It can be really helpful to study computing, especially at GCSE level and at an earlier level because I personally would have found it so much more useful getting into the industry if I'd had the chance to do that. I think being able to learn different programming languages can be so helpful in so many different areas that even though I'm an animator, I'm now finding that I'm only now starting to learn programming languages and it would have been a real help for me if I had done that much earlier in my life. So I think it can, although maybe sometimes the jobs that you think might be available might not be that many in it, I think there can be actually quite a range of jobs which can real, really benefit from doing a qualification such as this. My background for computing was that I studied IT at GCSE and I then went to do a media BTEC um, with my A-levels. So um, I did study it um, and then I went to university and did computer animation and visual effects. I have that kind of the studying in, in my background. Uh, I studied um, a variety of topics like media studies and things, but I also took uh, IT because I was looking to get into animation actually originally. So ultimately that led me to studying uh, my degree, which is actually in character animation. While I was at university, sort of realized that that wasn't for me. So then I took a sort of a, a roundabout route into um, QA, which is like quality assurance in, in game design uh, through some people I knew. And then from there, um, I managed to get into uh, game design, which really interested me. Um, both the sort of the implementation side of it with computers and uh, the sort of creative side. It seemed like a good mash, sort of like, it's really the same things that appealed to me about animation originally. I didn't have any role models growing up in computing. If anything, my, uh, my family had a family friend who lived in Canada and he came over to visit at one point and he was doing animation, like 2D animation on his computer and it, well, I found it mind-blowing because I'd never seen someone animate before. I didn't consider that to be uh, even a job that someone could do. So seeing someone do animation was like, oh wow, I, I guess that is something that someone can do. I had some really, really awesome teachers uh, for my media BTEC. Um, yeah, they, they were just, really inspirational, awesome people um, and just really encouraged me um, and I, I had always been someone who kind of sat in the background a little bit in school um, and you know people like teachers would forget my name and stuff like that because I, I wasn't really you know I wasn't doing badly and I wasn't doing great and I was always kind of just middle ground 
um, but they they just really took me under their wing and just you know really encouraged me um, and yeah I was I was in there like most lunch times I was in the media labs just you know working away and it, it really really inspired me they were awesome people so the short answer is my parents they always encouraged me it was never um, a thing that I wanted to do that it was just like yeah you want to do that and you're enjoying it you go do that that's what you want to do and we encourage that and it was great I'm lucky to find a lot more people nowadays that inspire me and that's amazing but I don't think I specifically have a role model I think that's all very much come from my own motivation to get where I want to be but I do wish I had. I was more inspired by the idea of these worlds you could visit through computers so I never really had much of an influence in terms of an individual but it was more of the escapism of getting into a video game or um, into the artwork. I had one piece of advice for people getting into computers, uh, computing and getting into the industry. I would say just just don't doubt yourself and think that you, you can do it. You just need to try and keep being inquisitive about things, keep looking and look at everything around you and look on the internet for, you know, there's so much help out there with lots of different information that I think that could be really helpful. I think the main tip that I would give students would be learn Python. I think no matter what you go into, it's incredibly useful. Um, you know, even if you go into something like gardening, you could use it, you know, it, Python is so, so useful. Um, it's one of the easier languages to learn. Um, and I mean, I, I thought that I'd never be able to learn Python. I thought I'd never be able to be smart enough to learn Python. Um, but I, I had other people really encourage me. I just kept at it. And now I earn a live, living from, you know, my knowledge. So it, it really is something that you can, you can definitely learn it, even if you don't feel like you can learn it, you can. You just have to keep going at it, you know. Um, and it's, it's incredibly useful. Uh, I think my biggest piece of advice, and I, I, I give this to any of our juniors at the start as well, is just keep asking questions. Like, it, it does you no service to not just ask if you're stuck or if you're not sure, um, just ask. It's no skin off our nose to spend five minutes uh, showing you how to do something if you're not sure. And, you know, in that discussion, we might both find out something new or a better way of approaching something. So I just say, just, yeah, keep, just keep asking questions. Like it's never too many questions, I don't think. Um, and I think a lot of people worry that that, it can be, like that people are bothered, but like, personally, I would much rather you asked me a million questions and, and were right and happy and knew what you were doing than you didn't ask any and everything went wrong. When I was 15, I didn't even know I could be a game designer. Um, and this and this is coming from me is someone who was like super decided I just wanted to get into animation because I like 3D animated films and was like well I'm gonna go do that regardless of how easy that might be um, and it's not only where I ended up but yeah sometimes the path you can take might be unexpected but I think you, you want to end up doing something that you enjoy so if you've got interest just pursue them and see where they, they take you you know it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's what's expected of you just follow your interests because you'll be happy that way, you know? No one, like, those people who might not think you could do it, they're gonna be gone and you're gonna be happy making video games or whatever, you know? Tips for anyone really going into the industry or looking into computing is if you enjoy computing, don't be put off because you feel like you're going to be a diverse kind of individual in that industry. You have every right to be there as much as anybody else you've worked hard for it and you deserve to be there so don't ever think that a certain industry is not for you because of how you see yourself or what gender you are i, d I don't think that should have any impact on what you want to do and don't be afraid of making mistakes or taking a little bit of time to find out what you want 
I personally spent three years at college working out what I want, a year in a degree that I didn't want to do. Waste <laughs> I say wasting time playing video games, but that kind of helped me find myself and like my passion. Don't be afraid of that. Don't be don't be afraid of making mistakes and working out who you are. My one piece of advice for girls doing computing is don't let anybody tell you you can't because you can. And if you want to do it and it's something that you love, just keep plugging away. There's nothing you can't do.